Okay guys, I want to do a quick dive on Genesis for uh, a little video because I've spent so much time on Apocalypse, I feel like Genesis needs his own video. Um, <clears throat> I spent so much time on Apocalypse in the last two videos because he does work with Mystical, but uh, Genesis is probably the better piece at 35 points, like to the point where I'm debating on whether or not I want to pick Apocalypse or Genesis. Uh, we're going to go over that a little bit. Um, I am I'm going to pick Apocalypse because I need him for my mystical team. But if I didn't, Genesis would definitely be the pick. So you look at Genesis and you think, oh, it's a lot like Apocalypse. Well, yeah. Um, he has the same stats, and he st but he starts with Precision Strike instead of Penslike on top dial. <clears throat> uh, where it really changes is his trait and his special and movement. So his trait says, when determining theme teams, characters with a brute, monster, or warrior keywords gain the Araco keyword. Okay, well automatically, <laughs> you're getting the best pieces in the game on a theme team. Just think, monster, you're getting all of the secret six from Wonder Woman 80th until it retires, and then you're getting the best probably the best meta piece in the game in uh, Sakarian Iron Man with a warrior keyword. And then for me personally, because I love her, uh, you also get Death Metal Wonder Woman. Uh, so that's just the first part of this trait. And I mean, it just, it just makes everything else work. That's why I say he's probably the better piece at 35 points. Uh, when a friendly ca and the rest of it reads, when a friendly character with the Araco keyword gain uses Blades, Claws, Fangs, their minimum result is instead their printed damage plus one. Okay, so for me, I automatically think, well, Death Metal One Woman has Blades, Claws, Fangs. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's getting the Araco keyword with them, so her minimum damage value becomes four on top dial. And that's just one of the crazy things about this piece. You think... Uh, my mind also goes to Sky Tyrant on last click, because he's got the monster and warrior keyword. Sky and Iron Man can shoot blades, but thinking about it, his printed damage value is 2, so he'd probably uh, do better with other powers. But this bringing these keywords together on a theme team, monster and warrior, just does so much for you. You're getting all the Secret Six, you're getting Venom Magneto, you're getting Sakarian Iron Man, you're getting... You name it, it probably fits under Monster or Warrior. Um, Jubilee, Sky... I mean, I already said the Secret Six. Jubilee, Venom Magneto... Man, I don't know. We'll go over it a little bit, and I'll show you some of the pieces that I found that I'm really excited to play with this piece. Uh, but first, uh, let's go over its movement because it is not the same as Apocalypse's. Apocalypse is, is a full speed movement and attack. Uh, his reads flurry, so he just has flurry, and then phasing teleport. When he uses it, phasing teleport, after resolutions, he may make a close attack. So it's a full speed charge. And then Genesis is charge flurry. Okay, so he has charge flurry, but not a full speed movement attack. Instead, he has passenger four, but only to carry characters with the Iraqi keyword. That part doesn't matter because everything falls under the Araco keyword now. Um, but the Passenger 4 can really help, uh, especially with Venom Magneto. Uh, now you can t free TK Genesis up 6, carry everybody up there with Venom Mags, and then carry them out 8. So <laughs> you're, you're getting your entire team out really far. Uh, what is that, 14 squares, 15 squares, something like that? And then he has the same stop on his defense on his last click that Apocalypse has. That's super crazy. Needs a change, but I don't want it to change. Um, I want to play these pieces at their insane level that they are. Um, okay, so let's go into these keywords real fast. Some of the pieces I pulled out, I even made a little team. It takes five minutes to make a team with this guy. That's the cool thing about this. It, it literally takes almost no thought at all. Um, you just throw some of the best pieces you have in your meta box on the board, and they probably fit under uh, Genesis's Genesis's uh, trait. So the team I made was Sakarian Iron Man, Venom Magneto, 
Commissioner, uh, Death Metal Wonder Woman, being signified by Wonder Woman and Jumpa once again for this video, uh, Scarab, and then Surtur. Because, believe it or not, Surtur and Emir both had the monster keyword, so now they fall under Orako's umbrella. Then I threw a little Moloid on there because I was 15 points under, even with a plus 8. I was 15 points under. <coughs> Some other pieces to keep in mind, though, uh, that didn't make the cut for my team are Sky Tyrant, Jubilee, Ferdinand, and you can get Dr. Thing on there um, and do the whole Doom Swap thing. I love the Dooms, and they probably work if you play with them enough and you know them enough and, you know, you, you build your team around it. But, man, with everything in the meta now, they've kind of fallen to the wayside. Uh, on top of the fact that everyone kind of got bored of them after two months of play. But they were the first, if you remember, they were the first swap mechanic that we had in the game, and they were so much fun to play with. And Dr. Thing can really mess up your opponent's team if they are playing a swap. So keep that in mind. Uh, keep him in mind if you want to go for a fun route that not a lot of people are going to think about. And then Ferdinand is another Dark Horse. He basically has a support, but he doesn't have to roll the d6. And he can support out of adjacency with an opposing character. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said, Genesis is probably the better choice. Uh, if, you're thinking, if you're not thinking about playing one of these pieces at 300 points, which I'm not. Because I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> I don't want to play for a bunch of 0-0 zero, zero ties. And... Just pray to God my opponent comes out and hits me. Uh, I like a little bit of complexity in my team build. Um, I mean, this this is a pretty complex team build, I guess. But it's, it's just the keywords that it brings on are so good that it doesn't take that much time to figure out what you want to play. I basically just take your favorite pieces out of your meta box and they probably fit under uh, Genesis, Genesis, Genesis I. Gen no, because it's not plural. It's possessive. Genesis's umbrella. So, yeah, man, uh, let's just go over a quick alpha here. I mean, it's pretty obvious. You just free TK him out six, TK him out again with Scarab. Boop. And then he goes and does his thing. Um, another thing to keep in mind with Death Metal Wonder Woman, whenever they are able to kill Sakarian Iron Man, she can bring him back to life. So they have to wait six actions to kill this guy. And then anytime they deal damage, uh, Surtur's coming over to uh, do his thing. So you, the way I think about it is I'm giving up 75 points off the top. Like they are, They're eventually going to score these two pieces for sure. So as long as Sakarian, Iron Man, and Scarab from the back line are able to kill at least probably 80 points... Uh, because they don't have odd numbers in the game anymore. But as long as they're able to kill 80 points worth of hero clicks, then I win. Or it makes it extremely hard for my opponent, because now he has to come over here, and I can protect a little bit. These two pieces will be gone. I can protect a little bit, and it's going to take a lot for them to kill Genesis. It's going to take a lot for them to kill Wonder Woman, because she, will have, she does have a stop click on her last dial, and it is defend. I can pop out a rookie bystander, and the entire time Scarab's going to be mind controlling them. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Wow. Um. But yeah, guys, uh, to save you guys from hearing me cough again, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick dive into Genesis. I know I've given so much uh, talking points on Apocalypse, but. He's probably the piece that everyone's gunning for, just because he has that full speed move and attack. I just wanted to keep everybody, let everybody know that if you do get second place in your swap event, and you have to take home a Genesis, uh, <laughs> you probably won. Uh, Apocalypse is really good and all, but Genesis is, I mean, he, Genesis is probably the better piece, unless you're wanting to play one of them at 300 points.
yeah, dude. I uh, hope you guys all have a great day and enjoy your weekend. I know I'm enjoying mine, giving you guys this content, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Thanks.